It's Golf Cart Confessionals. Oh, yeah. Season 2, Episode 1. On this episode of Golf Cart Confessionals, we are proud to announce it's a new season. This is a part of the season where the phone's not ringing off the hook. But we're working like it is because it will be very soon. So it's planning and preparation. That's what we're going to cover in this episode of our new move to the new brick and mortar Kingdom Christmas Lights official location of our headquarters of our company. My name is Ron. I'm with my beautiful wife, as always, Laura. As always. Hello. Laura. Hello. How do you like living in the new house we just oh, moved in oh my goodness oh my goodness well we are doing a lot of hard work and sweating a lot but it's all worth it because it's all permanent it seems like it's like a broken record because it wasn't that long ago we just moved into a new house in <laughs> katie texas tis true but this and we is just different. had a new studio and we had a new office set up and all that we had a plan we had a plan that we wanted land and we weren't ready at that point but we were ready uh what is it five months ago and we found our peace and now it's uh nose to the grindstone five acres mm -hmm. commercial property right on the interstate with fifteen thousand people plus every single day traveling in one direction right by our commercial property Yep. We have trees to knock down. We have trees to clear. We have a house to fix up. We have a guest house that who knows if it needs to be bulldozed down or <laughs> fixed up. It seems nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. You know, you but fix the water. It's like buying a used car. You know they sold it for a reason. <laughs> As is. <laughs> As is. I mean, they didn't fix it up and say, I'm going to keep this. That's just a little repair. I'm going to fix it and keep it. They were like, look, I'm going to sell it, and it's as is. I know it needs some work, and we stepped in. We're trying to figure out what work needs to happen, and it kind of is overwhelming, but we're starting the brand-new Christmas light season, Kingdom Christmas Lights. If you want to get on our schedule for this year, it will be the biggest year ever. you want to contact us earlier early, than later, 346-291-4492. That's the Kingdom Christmas Lights main number you can also go on the website at kingdomchristmaslights.com fill out our online estimate form that'll go right to our office myself and laura right yes we will see this call you back if we def, definitely now we have time but during the season 120 of those a day plus the phone rings off the hook we're not complaining about it but it's it's getting on the schedule is smart it's tough yeah. to you know answer all of those and some people have filled out four and five of them because they did it yesterday and then the day before and last week and now they're finally on the phone with us when they called and then they said oh i, I. then you see that yeah. they had four or five in there and it's not because we don't want to talk to you it's just we get We're so super busy, busy. And this year we will have a new person in the office who actually worked season two in houston with us josh west so we're excited about josh coming down staying really in his excited. rv um the only thing I would say I'm not the most excited about is uh, him bringing his cat. Oh, she's going to be in the RV. Stella will be ecstatic, though. Yeah, I know. She loves her some kitty kitty We have kitty a uh, dog that has not, a bird dog, I think. Oh, gosh. Cheyenne has not acclimated with the country life. Oh, here she's on the acclimated farm. just fine. <laughs> she just thinks she needs to hunt and kill. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, Cheyenne brought us dinner, killed a rooster. Okay, uh, oh, okay. Cheyenne, uh, what she kill today? We're a having duck. Peking duck tonight. <laughs> and then what else is going on? I mean, like, kill uh, something that we want, you know. Yeah, well, she'll get there. But she's coming to her own. She doesn't want to come in the house anymore. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I don't need dog food. I can figure out how to eat on the land here. <laughs> so we're trying to, like, domesticate her back. But it's mm -hmm. nice to see that the dog can make it on its own if need be. Yeah, she's off the grid. <laughs> but, you know, we rescued the dog. It was already living on the streets. We're trying to teach it. No, eat dog food. Listen to me. I'm not feeding you table food. And then it's going out there getting fresh duck and fresh chicken, you know. So it's like... You know, the dog's like, hey, I can figure this out on my own. I appreciate it. The roof over my head, but the food, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Crazy dog. 
But golf cart confessionals, we have been using the golf cart more this year. Oh, my. Since we moved here on the ranch a week ago. We have used the golf cart more this year than we have ever. Every single day. We used to ride it around the neighborhood, maybe off in the little pasture where they're building the houses and halfway get it stuck almost. <laughs> uh, see the snails and all that. But here, it's like... With this property we have, it's almost necessary to get around. Yeah, you like to drive it to work every day. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, drive the golf cart to work every day. People are honking the horn already, knowing that, hey, Santa, you know. They're like, <laughs> everyone knows the North Pole is under construction here in Plantersville, Texas. It will be the official North Pole. And then across the street is the home of White Kingdom Ministries headquarters, main office. So all of that's happening right here. We're in the middle of building it. We have people coming this weekend. Yeah. To clear out, I'm talking about these trees. They were here a hundred years yeah, ago. It's or a little more. sad. Let's not discuss that part. They're like 130 They're year old trees that we're putting this uh, church at that we have to take down. It's like, man, these trees have seen a lot. Speaking of seeing a lot, the house we live in, <laughs> the guy built it and he was finished, completed, built in it 17 years after the Civil War, 1902 mm, or three, right? It's old. And then they moved it from the heights here onto this farm that we live right now in 1920 or something like that. Yeah. And the house is still here, and that's the house we're living in. So you're looking at it like, man, those are original, like, real deal hardwood floors. Yeah. The wood paneling is actually off of a tree they cut down that's right. You know, it's the history that must have been in this house. It's, It's amazing to have the North Pole and where Santa Claus lives and everything to be so authentic but do you want to hear about authentic have you have you seen that movie fat man the santa claus movie with uh who played that who played it's uh, mel gibson but mel it's gibson not played santa claus he's children. perfect with the gun shootouts it's not and for stuff. children you think you're the first you think i got this job because i'm fat and jolly Your new we have a line. very similar post office Oh my gosh. <laughs> we yeah, live in a one true. horse town, and I'm telling you, we live right down the street. I mean, I'm telling you, we live on a street that there's only four houses. So we tell the post office, hey, we'd like to get our mail delivered. And what did they say when you walked in there? Uh, they don't deliver the mail down our street. There's only two of there's us at the Plantersville Post Office, and, you know, I need Wednesdays off. We can't handle any more mail. We can't deliver it down there. Maybe you can put a post office, um, a post, yeah, a box, a mailbox right across the street or something from the mail office. I'll put it in there for you. <laughs> you know, that's what we're dealing with. So, <laughs> so we forward it to the commercial side, so all our all of our mail comes up up front. You know, just trying to make it easy. You know, <laughs> yeah. just just trying to, trying help, to make help it the ladies easy. out, help you all out. <laughs> we don't want to ruffle no feathers. We love these guys. I love the one horse town. We moved here because we like this slow paced life. Even though we're about to do something huge and make Plantersville, Texas, famous for what Kingdom Christmas Lights and Why Kingdom Ministry does in the next five years. But it's great to see how, you know, rustic it is. We're actually in the process right now. It's kind of a secret, but I'll just share it with you uh, on golf cart confessionals. Oh. That half of the road that we live on, we own. Almost all of it at the point that where it turns into our property. So we'd like to name the road North Pole Lane. So we actually live on our North Pole Lane. Yeah. And so that's a good goal. Huh? It's a good goal. I'm looking forward to Yes. Talking and I'd to like people's. for to name the whole entire road, which is only two more houses. It's Post Office Road. Uh, the people who live on here say, man, it's a big mix-up whenever you order Amazon and things. Because as soon as you put my uh, address as this, 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 Post Office Road, it kicks it back and say, oh, no Post Office boxes, no P.O. boxes. When you say yeah. Post Office, you're like, no, 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 I live on Post Office Road. So the people here that live on the street, apparently from what the previous owner told us, they would have no qualms about changing it to North Pole Lane. So uh, wish us luck on that one. I think if we turn that into the North Pole Post Office, then our ministry can actually be coupled together with Letters to Santa at the actual North Pole mm-hmm. Post Office. So but I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I, I haven't had any problem with my Amazon, and you ladies know what I'm talking about with that Amazon delivery. I've had my delivery showing up except for one. So it's been going real well. 
well, so far for me. Yeah, it's we're not talking about UPS, Amazon, or uh, FedEx. Amazon. It was the actual U.S. Yeah. mail was USPS. the number one concern. But uh, that's just what the previous uh, homeowner yeah. said. But we haven't had any problems so far. My Amazon's doing good, so that's all I asked for. You no, know, no. Uncle Sam has that mail thing figured out, and it's been going for a long time, and the mail's still getting here, so we're, we're happy about that. But what else is going on over here at the Kingdom Ranch? Oh, let's see. We um, do not get grocery delivery anymore, so uh, Mrs. Claus is having to readjust that uh, item. We... Um, well, let's see, we're clearing land, fixing up the house. We had to fix a sewer line. You know, that was fun. Yeah, why don't the toilets flush? It's a <laughs> sep- uh, maintenance-free septic system, right? Right. Oh, no. You have to dig up all the lines. There's a crack. There was a root crack. You have to redo everything. Mm-hmm. But, that- but it was done in a day. Thank goodness. Praise God. Yeah, we don't mess around. We've been chopping down trees, clearing down forests, clearing out land, uh, building retaining walls, setting up uh, bonfire. Yeah, we got bonfires. Prepare yourself. You'll setting see up uh, piles for a bonfire, uh, clearing the commercial one, uh, mowing grass for the first time. We barely even owned a lawnmower. Then we bought this something to mow five acres. This, uh, what's it called? <laughs> it's a zero turn. The zero turn. <laughs> the hustler. We got the hustler. <laughs> the zero turn hustler and then we got this um weed eater you know we had like a piece Regular. of crap weed eater but pretty much we pay the know. guy 35 bucks to mow our grass every week and a half or something like that yeah, so that's been working weeks. out great mm-hmm. but here you can't pay someone to mow your grass no no it's too no, big no. Mm-hmm. so we got this weed eater a steel that it has a backpack situation you clip it on like your right uh, pants pocket it's kind of where the clip is, and you hold it there, and it has these two handles, like a video game joystick, where you can go through brush. It has the actual string. You can put a saw blade, uh, pole saw attachment, or you can also have a, um, a metal blade, which a we have, mm-hmm. that just cuts through brush. I mean, like if it's a one-inch tree or something, you're like, boom, just running right through it like it's nothing. It's crazy. I, try, I tried that sucker on. It's, uh, it's, it's a bit to handle. But it's fun. It was fun. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot of weed eater on steroids, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going on here at Kingdom Ranch. That's what's going on with the preparation for a Kingdom Christmas Lights. We have the official North Pole, which is this building. Um, we have, you know, windows. Some of the windows need repair. We put security cameras on. We have two brand new air conditioning units in here. We're trying to change out all those incandescent bulbs that were in here, heating the place up. Uh-huh. Change them to LED that are yeah. a lot LED you know, cool is the way the to go. Oh, yeah. Cool to the touch so it doesn't heat the place up. We're putting whiteboards in. We have a um, Christmas mantle. We have Santa Claus's original. Okay, let's. Santa Claus original jacket, vest, pants, and hat that Kurt Russell wore in Christmas Chronicles, the exact one sitting here in the office. Yeah. We have the two desks. We just purchased two brand new computers that could be a server to run websites. That's how fast and uh, advanced they are. Those will be running our distribution center and ministry uh, when they get here. I can't wait. We have internet. The internet. Ooh. Jesus. Bad such Take the wheel on this Jesus one. Jesus, take the wheel. Hallelujah. Because I just want to smack <laughs> everybody from uh, the company that's local here. I'm not going to mention Ooh. their name, but CenturyLink. <laughs> so the internet's not exactly working here in the office. We ran a ethernet cable from the actual main house 350 feet to the office that faces the interstate. And we have just internet to my computer right now. They're supposed to be sending an engineer and fixing it, and I hope that they do. Um, We're just going to try to be positive about it, not Mm -hmm. complain about it. Mm -hmm. It's just part of the deal. We're a very difficult customer wanting four different lines of modems, and one's 400 foot away from the box, and it's DSL. So if you can imagine traveling back in time. You know, where, you know, oh, Internet? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't need a satellite. There's another option. It's DSL. <laughs> uh, like, oh, DSL. Yeah, yeah. Can I get like seven of those? Uh, you got seven. <laughs> yeah, ten. Ten. 
So, uh, you know, we're going to work through it. We haven't even complained one bit. We have called about seven times. Every time we call, they set us up a new account. But yeah. <laughs> look, let's just get off that subject. Let's I know that on. the right thing's going to happen. We'll figure something out. We always do. But speaking of figuring things out, it's uh, it's about Christmas. Today is my birthday. It is Santa's birthday. Happy birthday to, to, to me. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Santa. Happy birthday to you. Well, that was very sweet. That was very sweet. Aww, wow. that's so sweet. Well, you got my cheeks looking rosy red. Maybe that's what happened. Mm. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's my birthday today, and, and you know, it's my birthday, and then there's other birthdays. Uh, Brittany is tomorrow, and Josie's the next day, and then the day set apart for the Lord. The day that in 2015 I was ordained as a minister. Mm-hmm. The day set apart of the, for the Lord at 3 o'clock, Jesus Christ on the cross muttered his very last breath and said, it is finished. And then the veil was torn. We could become one with God. And we got married very specifically on the day set apart for the Lord on August 15th. Our aniver- wedding anniversary is coming up. We're exactly at three o'clock. We said, it is finished. Yeah. The death, burial... It's like two funerals and one resurrection of Mr. and Mrs. One person. The two people become one and is resurrected as one person exactly at three o'clock. Yeah. On August 15th is when we got married. We had my parents there. Mm -hmm. We had your mother there. We had Jacob there who Mm -hmm. also goes as Tyrone. We had Tyrone there. We were in beautiful sin city las vegas and that wedding anniversary is sunday coming up sunday sunday in just sunday. a few days sunday sunday, sunday. Yeah. so <laughs> that's exciting uh, everyone is anticipating eagerly i would say about what uh daddy's gonna do for the anniversary Oh, I am so excited to watch you open your present. It's like killing me. I've oh, had it I thought for you like were going to say, I'm so excited to see what you have planned in the last two days. Oh, I'd love to see what you have planned for the last two <laughs> days. I've had your gift. Baby, can't we just focus on Christmas and for just put this off? For the last four no. months, I've had your present. I've been like biting, like going, I can give it to him now. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I gotta wait. Gotta wait. Oh, it's so waiting. Tune into the next golf cart confessionals mm. and you'll be able to hear what that is. Oh gosh, it's good. But that's all we have for today, golf cart confessionals. I mean, it is a honor to speak with you. Uh, for the four people who actually listen to the uh, golf cart confessionals to our Hello. podcast, Why Kingdom Ministries, <laughs> Kingdom Christmas Lights. We really appreciate you four or five people following us. It gives us energy. It's like fuel to our fire. You know, it, it, it keeps us going, knowing that it used to be two people. Now it's four people. We've doubled. Hey. I mean, we have completely doubled our business, uh, doubled our podcast. It's been a double-double, which has been prophesied by the, the pastor that I uh, attended the church. has been a very mentor of mine in Frisco, Texas. I do appreciate him. And even to this day, we were speaking about him this morning, yeah. his yeah. CEO, Elite Mastermind, which we're not a part of. No. But just reading the notes, knowing that day. when I first started, that encouragement is what motivated me to keep on going and start my own business. And even when it seemed like it was a complete waste of time, I should probably just get a job with someone else and that would be more beneficial. I just kept going no matter what, even though it wasn't like roadblocks. I mean, it was <laughs> it was like the water had to be parted for me to make it through. But somehow my mind stayed there. God did his job and my job is to believe and his job is to do the impossible. And he did it. We did it. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. We're living it. It's like a dream come true from the vehicle we drive, the house we live. The, the business that has happened, every seed that we've planted, how it's grown up. And it's almost like a forest of blessings. We're trying to clear a path so we can live. Everything, every seed we've planted, God has watered, and it's just grown to a just unbelievable 
how much can be accomplished in such a short amount of time with God on your side. So Amen. hopefully we're living proof of that. This is the end of the golf cart confessionals episode one, season two. We love you and we hope to talk to you soon.